When buying a new set of keycaps, there are several things you need to consider. Why are you buying them? What are the best keycaps for your keyboard? Will they be suitable for your hand size? The material, the keyboard layout you have. Is it ANSI or ISO? And finally, where can you buy them? In this video, we'll give you the answers so you can make the right decision when buying your new keycap set. Hi, Digmates. I'm Dominique, Head of Communications at Digma. Now let's get into it. Why are you buying a new keycap set? There are two reasons to do so. The first one is you're bored with your keyboard and you want something new, and that's totally fine. In that case, the keycap profile is secondary. The things to consider are then the color scheme, the sizing of the keycaps, whether the keys allow backlight or not, and of course, how some flatter profiles like the DSS give a vintage look to the keyboard. For the second reason, I need to introduce you to the Cooper Stairs effect. If the height of a single step is off by as little as two millimeters, most people will trip. I don't care. If you listen to Sheldon, small changes can produce big results. So if you are changing your keycaps to improve your performance, stay with us for more insight on this topic. Next question, which keycaps are the best for your keyboard? Well, that depends on you guessed it, your keyboard. Take the keycaps out and take a look at the body of your keyboard. Is it high profile? Then you probably want to avoid high profile keycaps because when you add the height of the keycaps and the tilt together, you add too much angle and you won't notice at first, but you'll be adding more strain on your wrists and on your fingers since you'll need to lift them more in order to reach some of the keys. You can have the problem the other way around too, but the point still stands. When buying the keycaps, consider them as part of a bigger picture your workstation. The keycaps play a small part, but never disrespect the Cooper Stairs effect. One important detail, ortholinear and columnar keyboards work better with uniform profiles. If you have one of these keyboards, you probably knew this already, but it never hurts to remind you guys again. Next question, which keycaps are the best fit for me? Again, it depends on you. <laughs> but this time, it's on the size of your hands and fingers and your typing technique. Check your typing technique. Do you lift your fingers or move them horizontally? If you lift them, you are good to use either cylindrical or spherical tops. On the other hand, if you just move your fingertips horizontally, you probably want to go for the cylindrical ones or even the flat profiles since the spherical keycaps might result into you bumping the keys when you're typing. The size of your hands can be a factor when picking the keys. Smaller hands can benefit from high profile and sculpted keycaps since they might be easier to reach. For bigger hands, I recommend something along the lines of DSA profiles. Next, what's the best material? Well, there's no best material. It's only the one that fits your purpose better. Generally, keycaps are made from ABS and PBT plastics. What are the differences? Well, first of all, the price. PBT keycaps are often more expensive due to the nature of the double-shot manufacturing process of PBT keycaps. They offer some advantages like higher durability and more texture on the surface, which often helps the user feel a better grip on the keycap. The downside for these keycaps comes also from their manufacturing process. Since they are made using molds, there are fewer customization options and sometimes they can prevent the correct backlighting of the key. ABS keycaps, on the other hand, are made by a single injection of the ABS plastic. And then it's painted, then the legends are lasered. As you might have guessed, they offer a wider array of customization options since the finishing is painted, which means you can paint whatever color you want on your keycap. Plus, you can engrave anything you want as well. On the downside, they are more prone to suffer from wearing issues. A couple more curiosities on material. If you tend to punch your keyboard while gaming or during passionate work meetings, we have two recommendations for you. First, try to avoid it. And second, get ABS keycaps. They are more flexible and so they'll hold the punches better. Different keycaps have an effect on how the keyboard sounds when you're typing. So if you are one of those many people who love loud clicky switches, go for PPT keycaps. Keyboard layout. I use a non-ANSI layout. Will I be able to find keycaps? Well, I'm not gonna lie. It's going to be more complicated for the ISO keyboard users. And it gets even tougher if you use Spanish or German specific keys, not to mention Greek, Russian, Hebrew, Thai, Arabic, Armenian, Cyrillic. Yes, there are many alphabets and finding the right keycaps is going to be more complicated if you don't use the ANSI layout. There's an easy solution, of course, blank keycaps. Where can I buy keycaps? 
Keycaps aren't something that's sold on most electronic component stores. And if they are, we're probably talking about some OEM standard keycap, maybe white or black, but never a cool custom set of keycaps with a different profile than what we're used to. In order to solve this shortage, keyboard enthusiasts often rally themselves to buy big bulks of keycaps and save costs. It works somewhat like a Kickstarter or drop, where the buyers come together, decide on a design, and commission the keys. If you don't have a go-to place for your keycaps, don't worry, there's a list of sites in the description below. And that's only a small fraction of it, but I hope it helps you guys out there. Now time for the keycaps parade. Here we go, D-O-M. This is the signature profile of Artisan keycaps. High profile with a rounded top for a better contemplation of these little masterpieces. Expensive, yet probably one of the crown jewels of any keyboard enthusiast. DSA, medium profile, spherical top and non-sculpted. Easy to find, popular, not very expensive, and easy and cheap way to give a different look if you already have an OEM keycap set. G20, flat, uniform, non-sculpted, and the keycaps with the largest surface on top. They are not very common, so you won't have that many choices. They don't look flashy, but if you have thick fingers, they might be a good option for you. TEX. Similar to DSA in terms of profiling, but with a more rounded finishing, which gives them a cool vintage look. It's pretty popular and not very pricey. A nice choice if you ask me. XDA, another member of the DSA family, offering more contact surface. They are a relatively new profile, but you shouldn't have much trouble finding some. Whether you can find many options or not is a different topic. Still, they look pretty cool. OEM, the most common profile and thus the one that can offer more options for less price. If you're looking for a change and you don't want to spend much money, this is your go-to profile. Oh, I almost forgot. They are sculpted, slightly cylindrical, and have a medium profile. SA, high profile, sculpted, spherical top, and a very distinct curve. They are huge and built with high quality plastics, and so they are expensive. OSA, a mixture of the OEM and SA profiles, with the curve of the SA keys and the profile of the OEM, and an extended key surface. As for their availability, they are expensive and not very common. But on the plus side, I think this is an improvement of the SA and OEM profiles. Cherry, similar to the OEM, but with a lower profile. They are popular, easy to find, affordable, and have lots of options available. Definitely a good choice for those who are willing to change, but don't want to go for something radical. DCS, medium profile, lower than the OEM. They have a cylindrical top and sculpted with like a valley in the middle rows. Note that they are both sculpted and cylindrical, which is a pretty strange combination, and they are not the easiest to find either. DSS, medium profile, spherical but not very deep, and sculpted, but not so much. This design was very popular in the 80s, but was retired afterwards. A few years ago, this profile was brought back with a few tweaks to adapt it to the modern keyboard. They are not easy to find and might be expensive, but that's just the price of being trendy. HSA stands for half SA. They are a very recent trend and appeared in 2019. And as you might have guessed, they are a shorter version of the SA profile. Despite the shorter profile, they are still expensive and extremely rare. So if you're planning on buying them, look for group buys. KAT, another variation of the SA profile. Slightly smaller but still thick and with a smoother concave top than its original design. They definitely look like an improvement. Oh, and they were also designed to make the sound of your switches better, or so they say. They are a novelty and that means they are expensive and rare. Still, I think they are my favorite SA inspired keycap. KAM, the uniform version of the KAT keycaps, with all the features including the rarity and the price but without the sculpted finish. MDA, formerly known as MIX. This newer sculpted profile has SA, Cherry, OEM, and DSA reminiscences, but they somewhat seem to work. Probably worth a try, and they are not very pricey. If you can't decide on one profile, why not try some different ones in one set? MG, high profile, sculpted, and spherical based on the design of the Topper keyboards, but with a rounder finish to offer a larger touch surface. Expensive and mostly available in group buys. MT3, 
developed in 2017 by Matteo. This enthusiast created his own profile and to this day, they are still sold on demand. Tai Hao Cubic, medium profile, sculpted and spherical. Similar disposition to the OEM profile, but with a more square finishing. They are cheap, easy to find, and come in a wide array of designs and colors. They're ideal for those who want to swap keys often for a low price. And that's all I have for you guys today. Of course, in the end, the choice is really up to you. Personal preference is the most important factor. And since keycaps don't come cheap, make sure you feel comfortable with your decision. Otherwise, it's going to be an expensive mistake. But if you want to know other people's opinions, check out our subreddit. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, or even better, tell me your favorite keycap in the comment section below.